in Bedfordshire. At the centre of the dispute is millionaire Esmond Gay, who keeps more than 65 animals at his home, many rescued from cruelty or neglect. But neighbours in Husband Crawley say they sometimes escape and are a danger and a nuisance. Linda O'Brien reports. That's my boys. To Esmond Gay, these ocelots are like children. To his neighbours, they're potentially dangerous animals. My animals are my life. Um, they're, they're my family. Uh, I'd do anything for them. Most of them are rescues. Uh, most of them would have been, would now be dead had it not be, been for us uh, rescuing them from abattoirs, slaughterhouses, um, and previous owners who have abused them. But even neighbours who keep their own animals are worried about safety. Um, unfortunately, we have had animals into our own field here where we do our training, which obviously disrupts our training. And just a few yards behind us, we have a, a very busy main road, and we have had animals actually out in the road causing problems. Come on in, little ones. Esmond, a millionaire who yeah, made his money them. through pedigree cats, keeps a variety of different creatures on his six acres of land. On, he claims the neighbours are the problem, not his menagerie. To me, they're the neighbours from hell. We moved here for, um, for some peace and quiet and to, to be with our animals. To me, we've, we've come now into an area where the peace of people closest to us, who live closest to us, are making our lives sheer hell. I wish they'd just leave us alone. He says if his neighbours move out, he'll yeah, even buy their houses Brooklyn. to solve the problem. In the meantime, he's spent £35,000 on a mile of security fencing. It's going to be completely impenetrable over the whole field. There's no way they'll be able to get over. Esmond um, hopes that will solve the problem for good. Linda O'Brien, Anglian News. Stansted Air.